It has finally happened. After waiting two years, the redacted bunker is open. We're not only going to be exploring what's inside, but taking a look at leaked skins, new weapons coming out, the return of the mechs, and more, all in this video. If you're excited to see what's inside that bunker, hit that thumbs up button. There's so much to check out in this new update. As I've logged on, I've been given an acoustic version of one of the Battle Pass music sets. Two, in fact. And then I've also got some incredible variants of skins that I already own. These look absolutely awesome. The hush skin looking very zombie-like and the dark style. I actually think this skin's quite rare. I don't think it's been out for ages. Hey, look, three variant skins unlocked. I'm not complaining. Before we jump in game and see what's inside the new bunker, the Batman Who Laughs skin is now in game in the store. Don't forget if you're picking up anything, popping code Ali. It takes just a few seconds. You can get a shout out in my videos and I'm about to let you know even more skins that are going be coming out soon. The ever so popular customizable superhero skins are going to be getting zombie variations that you can pick up. They don't blend in quite as well as an all black or all white colored outfit like the typical superhero skins, but the zombie themed ones still look very cool. Take a look at this guy, Colonel Poppy with risky reels on his stomach and he's like green popcorn. Is he peas? Is he popcorn? Why is he green if he's popcorn? I don't know, but this guy's coming out soon as well. We've got some incredible backlings, including including pumpkins, but also different variations of the moon, like semicircle, full moon. It looks awesome. But the one that is by far the most hyped is the ability to actually buy and use Shadow Midas. This guy was only in game Fortnite Mez a year ago, and now we can finally get him and unlock him. He'll be coming out over the next week or so, even with his own shadowy variations as well. I'm hyped for this one, and I know you guys will be as well. Look who showed up. The ability to unlock the queen skin and all of her rewards, including a GG back bling, her different color styles, and check this out. Is this not the coolest glider you've ever seen? She walks down steps as she glides. Like, are you kidding me right now? These will be going live today as well with more rewards. And I'll be unlocking them on the channel. So hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on all of that. You genuinely don't understand how excited I am to go inside the bunker. This redacted bunker has been here since the beginning of chapter two and is finally opened up. But I don't want to get too carried away because there's so many other secret map changes and big things that have happened alongside that that you guys need to see as well. Do you notice anything different about the center of the map? Cube Town has already started to expand. It's going to happen 18 times in total. Can you believe it? And as a Cube Queen sits inside her sphere, which I feel like now she's going to come out and do whatever she's going to do, probably in a live event, Cube Town is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. I, I think it's safe to say that by the time this is done, and fully built, maybe most of the map could be covered in these purple squares. Literally only a few days ago, we talked about this guy on screen here. You're probably thinking, what is this thing? If you've played a lot of Fortnite and watched a lot of videos, you'll know who he is. But this guy's a mushroom that can follow you around and heal you. It was only in-game seasons and seasons ago for literally a few hours. Well, what if I told you that he is back in-game? I'm gonna see if he works and, you know, can actually heal you in the same way that he could when he was in game for those few hours all of those seasons ago to find him follow exactly where i'm going you want to head over to corny crops and on the right hand side is this building right here if we head on inside we should find oh hello there madcap himself surrounded by madcap you'll be able to find yourself these little mushrooms you can actually gather up and eat right here you can get the chance and anywhere else that mushrooms spawn for the secret healing mushrooms to spawn as well Oh, they're here. Oh my gosh. I can't believe. Let's close this door. No one else come in. I've managed to get them to spawn. Look. Dude, I think to get them to interact with you, you've got to dance. They're coming alive. Finally. Little pet mushrooms. I need you to follow me and heal me. So back in the day, you danced to activate them. Then you give them wood. Okay, they're here, they're here, they're here. But I can't give them wood. I can't, look, take my shield potion. Take my shotgun. There's donations. It seems like they're in game right now, guys. You can come and check them out near Madcap, but they're not quite working. Maybe they got accidentally put in early, but finally they are back again. 
out, come out. Wherever you are. Now, as we've been used to seeing throughout the Fortnite, well, in fact, the whole of this season, we have got the ability to vote on the return of things. Now, uh, I don't want to say that mechs are coming back, but guys, mechs are coming back, which I'll talk about a little bit more later on in this video because I believe it relates to Redacted Bunker. But before we talk about the mechs, there is a new voting board that is live right now, and I think this could be the closest vote we have ever seen in Fortnite so far. Ooh. It's updated. It's updated. Ladies and gentlemen, boogie bomb or combat shotgun? I wonder if this has changed much at all. Oh, combat shotgun is winning by quite a lot. All of the votes I've seen online between these two have been pretty much 50-50. Now, if I was a voting person, I'd go combat shotgun just because I feel like I haven't used it in ages. And I feel like, oh, it's just gone up. Literally gone up as we were watching it. I feel like the combat shotgun's probably going to win this, but which one do you want to vote for? Let me know, ladies and gentlemen. Let me know. Okay, I don't think the weapon is live quite yet. In-game, there is not one, but actually two new weapons that will be coming out soon. Maybe next week. Fabio Sparkle Main is going to sell one of them, and you can find Fabio all the way at the ski lodge at the bottom beside of the map. Ooh, they've also made the icon for the giant gatekeeper bigger, which is good. Because if you remember last week, God, this, last, <laughs> this week has flown by. If you remember last week when we talked about it, it was so hard to look at the map and find this head. Fabio Sparkle Main will be selling an iced grill grappler and we also have in-game files and data now live for a new combat pistol combat weapons seem to be the theme this season it goes all the way from gray rarity up to mythic which is very exciting with this week being the big update with downtime it will be expected that next week when we just get content that rolls out in a silent update that those new weapons should be added in because we've already got so much stuff going on this week guys trust me all right look no more messing around. Do you see where I'm looking at right now? You see where I'm pointing at right now? Can't believe I'm saying this, but the redacted bunker is open. As we fly towards it, I actually did a video last week talking about the fact that Dr. Sloan, who initially spawned, if we remember, all the way over by those trees, has made her way all the way along here, 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 all the way along here. She got to this point. Did she go over to Lazy Lake? Uh, uh, uh. She went all the way down here, all the way down here, and has followed the path to the redacted bunker. Now, look, there were some theories that the redacted bunker would initially hold the cube. We'd maybe see the mech or the monster come out of it. What have we got inside? Well, let's take a look because you may not be too happy just saying potentially the mech and this redacted bunker could have a connection. Let's take a look. Now, we've got to be quite careful here because... Uh as you can see, there are IO cars everywhere. The door is open. I can't believe I'm finally saying it. And I do think that there are guards around here as well. Good thing is, if you didn't know, you can head on in here to get yourself a chest. So let's open that up. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh. These IO guards are not going to know what's hit them. All right. I'm fully geared up. And I'm ready to go in. Uh, what are you doing? Oh, you've got a rail gun, have you? Very nice. I'll be taking that off you. So it seems like the guards outside have some pretty awesome weapons. If you didn't know, by the way, there's actually... Oh, they removed it. The... Well, I mean, there was a vault entrance here a few seasons ago. That doesn't exist. Oh, I can hear her. I can hear her. Dr. Sloan is inside. And as you'd expect, she is now the boss. Now the owner of this redacted bunker entrance. You still can't break it or interact with the door. But as you can very clearly see, the Imagined Order logo is there. You know what? There's tons and tons of loot in here. As they made their way over, I can already see some of the parts that they were bringing with them on the truck. It looks like they've completely turned this place into their own temporary or maybe full time. Oh my gosh. Oh no, 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 no. I'm sorry, guys. I'm going to have to take these people down. It is not going to be easy. Dr. Sloan with her mythic burst assault rifle. Unless it's changed. No, I can definitely hear it there. She is going to be a little bit of a pain. Luckily, I come with RPGs. Oh, this, this is working brilliantly. Building my little base. I'm going to fire in the RPGs, Dr. Sloan. You have absolutely no hope at all. You can't... Wait, can she not leave? Oh, I think she's stuck inside. Look, she literally can't leave. Oh, it sucks to be you. 
What the? Are you kidding me? So this is why you don't mess around, Dr. Sloan. Like, she she means business. I actually think she has come outside. Oh, gosh. Well, I don't even have any rocket launcher ammo left. Are you kidding me? Okay, there's... Oh, my God. <gasps> oh, my God. I almost died. See, this is why you do not mess around with Dr. Sloan and why the redacted bunker is not the easiest place to get into. Whew. Okay, let's take a second to breathe. What is inside this place? Why are the mechs coming back? What is going on? Let's go inside and explore. This is the very first time I've ever gone inside. I can't believe it took two years to open this place up. And it is now taken over by the imagined order. Our PC's making a lot of noise. Got a chest at the back here as well. I don't know if there's normally this much loot in here, but I'm telling you, if you guys want a fun place to explore and no doubt I have a lot of battles with people because it's going to be hectic of everyone coming inside but my gosh this place is filled with loot. I'm really honest with you guys um you know like I kind of hoped that something absolutely insane and crazy would come out of this bunker and I'm still hoping that that will be the case because just making it an imagined order base I don't know let's just check if there's anything secret under the floor doesn't look like it never know what Fortnite are like there could be stuff hidden anywhere can I break anything in the ceiling oh I've broken their logo they're not gonna be happy with that one are they can't break anything up there though so now that we're in and now that the imagined order have installed their technology what are they building here? What if I told you that the season eight mech is coming back? We've talked about it already, and it's gonna be called the Salvaged Brute. This is our very first look at the Mark II version of it. And you can see when the skin is applied, it looks even scarier than the first version. It has teeth on its mouth. Thanks to this in-game image, we can confirm that the Brute will be returning, except we will be the ones funding its return. I know, it sounds absolutely ridiculous. Why would we literally give gold to return arguably the most broken and annoying thing ever to enter Fortnite? Just found out my face cam wasn't recording for this part of the update. Hope you don't mind, I'm back in action now. This will be the last thing that we'll be able to donate and give gold to this season. So it won't be in game for probably for very long, like the final few weeks max. But I've got some good news. Here are some of the changes, thanks to Hypex, that have been altered to make this thing not as ridiculous. The dashing will now take seven seconds cooldown instead of five. Stomp damage has been reduced. The shield has been reduced from 150 to 100. The shield respawn has been delayed. And its jump damage has been nerfed as well. But but I swear I saw this. One second, let me pull this up. I found it. I was literally browsing Reddit yesterday. Can we just remind ourselves how yes. ridiculous the mechs were? One of the most ridiculous things about it wasn't just like its shield or its movement. It's the damn rockets. Look at these things. You can build and it will go through because they all come through at different times. And it's like perfectly delayed to go through your builds. I am scared of this thing returning. And I hope that when it comes back, it is utter trash. And it isn't as good as this because I will cry. Genuinely, I think this is the worst thing Fortnite ever had in the game. But let's let's just hope and pray that the mech v2 version isn't very good. And the reason I bring it up is because I believe that the mech could be being rebuilt right here. With all of the leftover scraps and technology right within the imagined order base. Very potentially. Imagine the thing that we've been waiting two years to come out of the bunker is a mech. Imagine we were told that when we very first saw the bunker at the beginning of chapter two. I think we all would have cried. The final thing I have to update you guys on is the grotto. Now, it doesn't look like the water levels have dropped again this week, but there is absolutely no way that the water levels have been dropping throughout this season for no reason at all. I'm just saying the grotto should be returning maybe this season or maybe next, slowly but surely. Guys, thank you again to everyone using code Allie. If you want to pick up my official Allie merch, it's linked in the description and under my videos at Allie.shop. Click on screen here to keep on watching more videos. Big update and lots more happening this season. It's going to be a good one. Well, Apart from fat mechs returning, but I will get over it.